Here we go. How does that work? Okay, then I need to... Display settings, that's what I want. There we go. Okay, I got it. Okay, now we got it figured out. So, oh shoot. I thought I had it figured out. There we go. I just want to move this guy out of the way. There. Okay. Well, that didn't change over though, did it? There. Okay. Now that's better. All right. I'll figure this stuff out eventually, y'all. Then they'll change again. Just so you know, it'll get changed again. All right, so metric system. When we're talking about the metric system, everybody gets like so worried about, oh, I don't know how to do that. It's not hard. All you have to do is just slide the decimal point one way or the other. You got to know where you're starting from, where you're going to, and then you just slide the decimal the same number of steps it took you to get there. Okay, so don't get like all anxiety, you know, and everything about this because it's not bad you just just let it come okay primarily when we're working with the metric system we're starting with kilo and we're going down to milli okay this is the section that we work in most of the time in here there are some that are a little bigger and some that are a little smaller and when we get to those sections i'll show you how to do it okay that's primarily chapter five in here right? Does this look right for you guys? Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> I have quantities for these. We have mass, which is kilograms. The base unit for that though is grams. Our balances measure in grams. Length is a meter. So meter stick. And the abbreviation for that, the base unit is an M. Time is seconds. And we can have like milliseconds and that sort of thing if you've ever heard of those. Sometimes they'll do that in sports. Um, temperature is Kelvin. And we'll get into that. Um, can we do that today? Yeah. We'll talk about that a little bit further today. Current. We don't really do much with current in here. If you take physics, they'll do some with that. Um, touch. Maybe one day current in um, AP, but that's about it. Um, amount of a substance, we use this one a lot. It's called the mole, and we'll get into that real hot and heavy next semester. And then they have um, luminosity, um, which is candela. But again, we don't do anything with that because that's just primarily physics. All right, here, when we have this, we always have our base unit. And... Down from that is deci. It, we're going to put the D and then whatever the base unit was. So if this base unit was meters, okay, decimeters would be DM. Centimeters would be CM. You've got 10 of these in every one of these. You have 10 of these in every one of these. So you've got 100 of these in every one of these. Does that make sense? Milli then is M, M. We don't, I don't know, there's probably terms for these. I just don't know what they are. We have two more like placeholders here and then we get down to micro. And then you can have two more placeholders and then that gets you down to, I believe, nano. Yeah. So 10 to the minus nine, the prefix is nano. And the abbreviation for that is N. And we do use that a little bit in chapter, um, when we get into chapter five. On this end, we have mega. And then um, beyond that, we have giga and tera. And you probably heard of those in terms of uh, computers and measuring bytes. 
<clears throat> we only go up to um, mega in here for our stuff. So. <coughs> Now, you can either multiply by these things to, or divide by these things to get to where you need to be or multiply depending on which side you're going. Or you can just slide the decimal. So here are I do problems. First one, we're going to convert from 0 .0 or 0 0.2005 meters into centimeters. <coughs> so I'm going to have my metric... This is my base unit here, which in this case is going to be meters for this one. Okay, so I am going to find where I'm starting on this line. I am starting with my base as meters here. And I'm going to count how many spaces I need to go. So one, two. I started here, I went two spots that direction. So I'm gonna take my decimal point and I'm gonna move it one, two spots. So my answer ends up being 20.05 centimeters. You're just sliding the decimal point, the same number of spots that you slid on the line. Does that make sense? Can you do that? Does it make sense that if I had a meter stick and I had 20 centimeters or 20, it was this much of the meter stick from my fingers here to here, that that would be 20 centimeters. Okay, so it's divided 100 times. All right, any questions on how to slide the decimal point that way? I think this is probably, I'm hoping this is a review for you. From other classes. All right, let's look at this now. If I change this over, and this time I'm going from DL to DAL. So my leader is my base unit in this case. I'm moving from here, I'm going to go one, two spots. This time my decimal is going the opposite direction. So I'm going to go one, two, and my answer will be 0 0.2308, and that will be D-A-L. Does that work for you? Can you do those? You just slide, slide, slide. I will give you this on your first test and your first quiz. Okay, so I'll give you that sequence there. You can remember it, King Henry. King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk is what the kind of, what do they call that, mnemonic device? I think so. Yeah, we will go with that. All right. <clears throat> I will not mark you off on this, but notice that Kelvin does not have a degree sign. Kelvin's not measured in degrees, okay? So it's just 83 Kelvin. If you write a degree sign with Kelvin, I'll mark it, but I won't take points off, okay? All right, I wanna go from 83 Kelvin to Celsius. What am I gonna do? Back at your notes, what does it say to do to go into Celsius? Yep, so I'm going to subtract, so I'm going to go minus 273 here. Oh, I didn't do this. Uh, so I got negative 190, is that what you got? Okay, now Celsius can be negative, Kelvin can't. So here, you do not want to end up with a negative number. So here, what are we going to do to get to Kelvin? Add 273. Add 273. All 
right? So I ended up with 356. So 356. And again, notice that I did not get a negative value there for or a negative value. And I also didn't put a degree sign for my Kelvin. Bueno, pretty good. All right, one more I do problem. We've got brick of salt. It's measuring 10 by 10 by two centimeters. And we were given a mass. We wanna calculate the density. So the first thing I need to do is I need to calculate my volume. So my volume is gonna equal 10 times 10 times two. So what is that? You do that in your head? 200. And what are my units on that? Cubed, right. Okay. So it's going to end up being 200 centimeters cubed. I don't know why my line went away. Let's try it again. I'm going to put my mass above here, which is 433 grams. And notice if I put my units in my work, they just flow right over into my answer. So 433 divided by 20 is 22. And that's going to be grams per centimeter cube. Don't divide this by 200. Twenty. There. Better. It's been a day, you guys. I spilled my coffee. So 433. Shouldn't it be 200? Yeah, sure. Because 10 times 10. Yeah, it should be 200. What am I doing? Ay, ay, ay. I can't do I, I don't seem to be able to do much of anything right today, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, coffee. All right. Is that better? Did I mess up anybody? Did I confuse anybody with my bad math? I, I, I think uh, I think we're good. Okay. All right. I'm gonna switch over to the next slide. This is the we do. So we got a couple we do problems. I want you to see if you can come up with the right answer. Okay. If you haven't written this guy down yet, you probably want to have him somewhere handy. Should I write this every time we do problem? We do problem this. You don't have no. I mean, if if you need it, write it down. If if you're like, I got this. I don't care. I just if you haven't got it written down anywhere or you don't have it memorized, then people probably need to have it down because they're going to need it tonight for homework, and you're going to need it a lot throughout even the year. To be honest with you.
how do I use this system for weight? For like customers? This becomes grams right here. So that can be grams, it can be liters. Remember when I talked about um, back here, we had all of these. So it could be a meter, it could be a second, it could be a mole. There's lots of different things that that can be. So that's your base unit. So whatever they are, they're measuring in. So grams, liters, um, meters, those are the three most common. So whatever that is, that base unit is your so for this one, it's gram. For this one, it would be meter. Where would kilogram go on this? So kilogram would be right here. Because of the K? So K, G, yeah, the K. The, the base unit is your G. So you can have... Um, So for that would be kg, hg, da, g, g, dg, cg, mg. And then if you had liters, you would change this to liters, and then everywhere you've got a g, you're going to change that to an l. So that would be kl, hl, dal, dl, cl, mg. And this would measure volume. So this measures mass, this measures volume. I want to do it for length, and I'm just going to change the L to an M. So this would be a meter. So this would be a kilometer. Hectometer. Oh, I see. So decameter. So you add the for the first one you added, added a G at the end of it. Mm -hmm. For the abbreviation. And this one was L's so for liters. liters. And this is going to be M. Or, so this would be decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. Okay, I think I'm trying to get it. Thank you. Yep. So this would measure length. So this is length. This would measure volume. And this measures mass. Um, as you're working through this, I have my answers up here. If you didn't get these two answers, I want you to call me over and let me help you with it, okay? If you did get those two answers, I think, yeah, you're just going right into the homework then, okay? There's a couple, there's several problems for this homework too. There's 22 problems, okay? It's two pages. But my guess is you're going to get a lot of that done in class because you're just sliding decimals. Check my answer key. I'm hoping I got everything right, but <laughs> we've seen with experience that that's not always the case. So cross your fingers.